The surge. Smallsy surgery. The surgery. This is Smallsy surgery. I'm a puppy like a pee, yeah, and a mommy. Hey, what's up, party people? It's baby no money. Baby in the sun like the Teletubbies. I sing it, and Smallsy plays it. And that's on God with Baby No Money. Please welcome the one and the only Mr. Baby No Money. Hey, hanging out on the show with us tonight. First time in, no, not first time in Australia. First time since like it all, like like Edamami blew up and I only got to see him on Zoom. Baby No Money's in the building, everybody. Uh, welcome back. I am back. here. I am here. Uh, good to see you, man. You too. In the flesh. In the flesh. In the flesh. Welcome back to Australia, man. How's life? How's things? How's the shows? I know you're doing Listen Out at the moment. Is it good to be back playing festivals? Yeah, it's great. I mean, it's good to be back full stop. I mean, like, COVID was a... Uh, COVID was an L. Yeah. A global, a global L. And uh, now we're back, and it, it feels good. People are... You know, people are, like, really enjoying the shows again. Well, you know, it's two years of pent-up frustration. Yeah. Two years of not being able to go out and, and do anything or see any live music. So they're all hitting it hard, no doubt, right? Yeah, no, definitely. Are the crowds wild? Definitely insane. Like, uh, my headline shows are just, they're the best. I mean, like, I, it's obviously, like, you know, a higher demographic of just my fans. Yeah, and, sure. And I don't have to do anything at, at those shows. I don't even have to try. I just, like, <laughs> jump on stage and just say, I love you guys. And, like, thank you so much for making my life amazing. And that's it. So it's a, it's great. It's, like, the best. Awesome. And how has your time in the country been? Have you had many days off? I never have a day off. No, okay. Yeah, it's, always grinding. It's always, always grinding. working. Yeah, literally, my dentist called and said, "You grind at night." I'm yeah, like, is it? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's a, uh, it's just the way it is. No, like no, no time off, no down. Like you literally, are you always working when when you're not playing a show? You're making yeah. something. Online? Well, not making music, but it, the you know, like the music has so little to do with an artist's career. To be mm. completely honest, it's okay. all it's all about the marketing. It's all about like what you're doing next it's all about how to make it believable right so yeah sure it's all uh, what yeah. you, so what do you uh, you have great merch right are you always were well, you working on like new something or others in I, the back end I kind of i mean you work on making tiktoks you work on making funny tweets you work on making like you know a funny post and yeah you just like all the all like every single card you got to play it's like all the pillars right? this you is gotta, true yeah do you ever wake up some days and go i don't think i can make another tiktok video i think i'm dead inside I just want to view. I just want to scroll other people's TikTok content. That's how. That's where I'm at for you. I mean, I've been dead inside for the past eight years. So <laughs> okay. I mean, You're nothing new nothing here. Nothing new here, baby. No, okay. yeah, so you got to just keep going, and it's a. Uh, it's fun because it's like every day is a different little challenge, and yep. every like the the music industry keeps on. It's like ever changing, right? Yeah, so, absolutely. So you just got to keep just keep working. Um. All right. Uh. New album coming October 21. Right. Yeah. Bag or die. What do we got in store? It's easily my best project. There's no question. Um, okay. You know, all if of, you don't say so yourself. You know, yeah. All of my really good friends who usually critique my music and don't like my music okay. are like, "Yo, like this is a good one." So, sure. So I'm, I'm I'm pretty proud of it. I'm happy. I'm I'm at this point. You know, I've listened to it so many times. And I, yeah. I'm over it. You're over it. You like next like, one. Next one. Yeah. So I'm I'm excited for the, this year to be over. But I'm gonna push it as hard as I possibly is can. Is there is there any secret sauce that makes this one uh, that you makes you feel like this is the one that 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 is it, it, that is better than the last one? Was there something in the moment when you were making the records that? You go, yeah. This is this was the the moment. I remember this. Not really. It's just typically, you know, you put an album out and there's like two or three really good songs. And like, yeah. You know, you do those as singles and then you put filler because yeah. that's just the way it is. But every single song, in my opinion, is just as good as the other one on this album. Yep. And I I don't usually I've never done that before. I've never I've never been like, dang, I really like every single song here. I'm gonna just put them all on an album. I never have done that, and I did it with this one. Sick. And I like I cut a song that I thought was like a nine out of ten, and I had to cut it because it was a nine out of ten. Oh wow! And I was like, every single song I have to really, really enjoy, and I have to think it's perfect. Yeah. And you know, if people don't like it, people don't like it. It's not a big deal. But that's just like I I believe that they're great. It's great music. So yeah, 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 yeah. I got a bunch of music videos. I have a music video where I shot and I broke my arm doing a shot. It was sick. And, sick. Uh, yeah, it was tight. I was. Uh, we were drifting. I was drifting out of a hundred, a car going 120 kilometers an hour. Sure, like this doesn't sound safe yeah. at all. Very Not, dangerous. Yeah. And uh, I told my mom about it after I did it. And she's like, "What did you do that for?" You're gonna die one day, Alex. <laughs> and 
And you know, at least if I were to, mm. I know for a fact the album would go crazy. Yeah, so absolutely. We're doing it all for the all, all for, for the, the album. Yeah, baby. absolutely. All for, album. Yeah. all for the Spotify stream. Exactly. I'm here for it. I'm here yeah. for it. Uh, it n- n- did Edema like obviously you've been grinding and playing shows for so long, but like for a lot of people, like Edamame was the first track that sort of crossed over and went. Was that was that a bit of a game changer song for you last year? See, it's interesting because I don't think that song like made that much of a difference for me. Sure. At least. Like, like, I, you know, I, La 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 was like the first like grand success. Yeah. And then after that, it everything was just like doing way better than before, obviously. Sure. Yep. But yeah, I mean, Edamame, it felt good to have another one for sure. Absolutely. And like, it, it, it did way better on radio than it did in, uh, as La 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 did. Cause, yep. Because at that time, like, no one was really understanding what, what TikTok was. Mm. And it was like the first little inference. And like, people in North America, at least, were like, yo, what's TikTok? Yeah, I'm like I'm not gonna put a TikTok song in in my radio, but now TikTok is just like evolved into like pop culture, and it's like at this point, if you're not putting TikTok, TikTok hits, that's it's then, like then that's what the kids, out. that's what like even that's like it. and yeah. like you know in this day and age, it's like kind of bona fides like what what a hit is really because yep. like the the larger demographic of people or the largest demographic of people on social media are just bona fying a song because they like it. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I I've definitely grown and and I'm really happy because you know I was getting over. I was getting tired of playing the exact same songs, and now I had another one, another yeah. banger. So yeah. it's like it's like right in the middle of the set because okay. it's like yep. you don't want to start with it, but you go like you like ramp you wanna... up, ramp up, then banger, Boom. and then you go down a slow, and then you go banger at the end. Boom. Too. So yeah. uh, I'm glad, and you know, my goal in life is to just be like recognized as a decent songwriter, and now I have two big songs. So no man, congratulations, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. Uh, I, you know what? You can't come all the way here to Australia without me giving you a gift. How does that sound? I, I, I got a. I got a gift for you now. I don't know if you want to get wear these on stage. Um, Sounds like it's underwear or like a swimsuit. It's, it is. It actually <laughs> is. Uh, so we have uh, we have we have smallsy budgie smugglers, or we call them speedos, with a big oh, microphone nice. on your cock. Oh so hell you, yeah! Yeah. So have a look. There you go. Hey. I, I've been taking my pants off on stage recently. Sure. So put that there. Yeah. Let's uh let's send it. With I next, mean, yeah, with the big microphone. Oh, they're right. like oh 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 yes yes is, oh I love these. Yeah. I yeah I used to be a competitive swimmer, so I used. To oh, did you? All, I, wear, I used to wear these all the time. Yeah. yeah with the, with the not your ones never had a big microphone no. right there on the no. on the Johnson. The nice big old microphone cock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm loving it. Thank you, man. No, really dude, they're it. yours. Uh, I, I expect didn't... to I expect I... to see them on on the socials. Uh, I... You went rocking them out this weekend. Budgie smuggler, smugglers. Is yeah, that, yeah, yeah. Is that like actually that... what you call them out here? Well, yeah, that's a brand. That's a budgie oh, smuggler like... is a brand, but that's like what we call. That's actually like some people we call them speedos, which but yeah. it's also a brand. And budgie smugglers. So like, if you're a competitive swimmer, you're like, yo, where's my buddy? Where's my bu- budgie? My budgies. Where's, where's my budgies? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's you would sick, say that. Because I would, I would always be like, oh, I need. Where's my speedo at? Yeah, right. And you could say, "Where's my budgie?" Huh? Where's my budgie? Yeah, cool. yeah, 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 yeah. Well, yeah. thank you. I actually, I'm, well, I'm going to like Indonesia and I'm going to like Asia real oh, soon. Oh, you're so. very sweaty up there. Yeah, I'm gonna need these little puppies. Yeah, I'm gonna put... rip them off every show and spring my, my yeah. underwear around. Yeah. Flick your sweated <laughs> people. They're gonna love it. Um, I think we're gonna play it will, before we go. Uh, a fun game. Uh, have you got? Have you heard of word tennis? Have you heard of word tennis? I'm gonna... Sounds like we're gonna pass some things back. Well, yeah, we're just vocal words. We're gonna okay, pass cool. back at each other. Uh, we get a topic and we just rally back and forth. You ready to go? Uh, uh, let's just find out what the category is first up. Sure. How does that sound? How's that sound? Yeah. Here we go. Here we go. Category is. Things you'd see at a festival. Oh, okay. Things you'd see at a festival. <laughs> we just go back and forth. You, would, you, would you like to go first or would you like me to start? I'll start. Here we go. Here we go. Drugs. Oh. <laughs> uh, ketamine. <laughs> uh, hot chicks. Uh, people falling over. Oh, yeah. Uh, someone with a broken leg. The medical tent actually being used. Yeah, true. Uh, very good point. Oh, I know. I've, I've lost now. I'm, I'm not supposed to give any other words, but yes, have you seen some wild things at your shows? Yeah, like at my show in Perth, some one of my like diehard fans unfortunately went. She died hard. Yeah. Uh, no, she, did she really die? No, 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 no okay, but, she's. But uh, she went, went to the tent. She went to the tent, and yeah, she like f- fell in the middle and like got owned. Uh, I, I had to stop the show, and she got like pulled out and stuff. And mm. but. It's dangerous. It is. They're like honestly, like being in being at like a massive festival crowd, it's like it is really just genuinely kind of. It's the tough life for a punter. It, yeah, it and is. Like in particular if the sun's shining and it's yeah. hot. Yeah. Where 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 what what uh what countries go the the hardest? Australians do notoriously go pretty hard, right? Probably okay, so like 
for festival shows, I think the best festival show I've ever done in my life was like a couple weeks ago. I did Reading. Yep. And I, I opened up main stage, and yep. that stage is huge, huge. Yep. Like no joke. Uh, and that was a crazy experience. I had like thirty-five thousand people there. Yep. And uh, that was very sick. Um, I mean, I had them in the palm of my hands. Like I've never had a, another audience in my life. And like I, I had like awesome. I had like publications being like, "Baby, no money." main stage smashed it wasn't expecting it and i was like oh yeah baby uh and then like headline shows is like yeah it's like uk and australia really like like a hot like, like just silly yep. i i just did i just did spain for the first time okay i did barcelona they not madrid insane are they like so vocal sure like, like every single person was screaming the lyrics okay and uh you know headlines are headlines are great because my fans are best I, I i've been to other people's shows and like you know everyone other people's phones are they're, yeah. they're cool the fans are cool but like my i like really truthfully believe every single time i've had an opener that's open for me they've been like dude your fans are like the most receptive people of all time because they just want to come and have fun so yeah. when i do headlines it's like it's always just positive it's nice like, it's yeah i give away a cookbook and people are happy like nice i can say poop and they say <laughs> and pee. they they that absolutely <laughs> october 21 bag or dies the new record uh you got a couple shows left of listen out uh before it uh, wraps up and then you go to indonesia where i expect to see the budgie smugglers uh on the instagram you yeah. wear and just flicking your sweat in people's eye i gotta go to the beach and yeah just do like a bunch of dancing to, like, absolutely some thrusting can, like, yeah. yeah absolutely yeah. get around yeah. that dude pleasure to see you in the studio thanks for having me here thank you for coming and uh enjoy the rest of your time here in the country Appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Smallsy Surgery is a Nova podcast. For more great shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.